Hey everybody, how you doing? Uh, for the past few weeks, I've been trying to bring you some fun, really easy, creative ideas uh, that you can do at home with yourself or uh, with your kids. Uh, this one I found online, and this one I think is just fantastic. It is probably the easiest project, and you don't have to be creative in any way. And I think it's a project for all ages. Uh, this primarily was a, was a project for small kids, although I fell in love with it because it's just so cool for what you can do. So a few things that we're gonna need for this was some um, temper paint if you have it. If you don't have temper paint, you can always use acrylic paint. Um, and I just thinned it out with a bit of water. So some, whatever your color is. Uh, so it's about like almost like a, a very runny sour cream, if you can think of that consistency. So whatever colors you want, again, acrylic paint, put it into multiple squeezy bottles, whatever you have lying around. Uh, I had some of these pump bottles, doesn't really matter. Um, and then from there, we're gonna need some paper plates. If you can use paper plates, or if you have like thick card, uh, and I just cut these into small squares. Now, the star of this project is the old salad spinner. And I'm sure everyone has these kicking around at home. Don't worry, you're not gonna ruin your salad spinner. I've used this hundreds of times. You just wash it out, put it through the dishwasher. Because we're using water-based paints, it's gonna be really, really simple. So, and the cool thing with this is that you don't have to be artistic in any way because the centrifugal force of the, uh, of the salad spinner, when it spins, creates the art. So it's kind of fun, once you put the paint in, you'll see, uh, you don't really know what's gonna happen. So I've dropped in the paper plate, oh, you can see here, so I had a paper plate, uh, and then just cut it out, so we cut the, the rim off, uh, and it'll just fit in the bottom of the salad spinner. Simple as that, okay? So the next thing is, we are going to take some paint, okay? And literally, that's why I was saying you want it to be quite runny. So drip a few colors in. We've got black, we've got some orange, and I'm gonna take one of these neon colors. Literally, that's it, okay? Put it in, now let the magic happen. Spin it a few times, stop the spinner, and this is just so awesome because you never know what you're gonna get and every time you do it, it's completely different. So we take it out and look how awesome this is. This is just so, so great. So from here, you can take them, put them on the fridge, you can cut them up, you can do all kinds of projects with them. And I'm gonna show you a bunch that I just did. Now here's a bunch that I did earlier and you can see Every single one is completely different depending on how much paint you put on, so you'll never get the same thing twice, which is really cool. So as you guys can see, this is a fantastic project. You can do it literally anywhere in the house. I'm just in my kitchen here. Because there's no mess, all the mess is contained inside the salad spinner, and again, don't worry about it. Um, with some, some hot uh, soap and water, this easily washes out. Uh, so you're not going to ruin your salad spinner. Um, and again, you can do anything with these. I framed them into this uh, fantastic frame here, an old Ikea frame that I had. I think it looks like a professional piece of art. Your kids are going to absolutely love this. Um, and who knows, it might be a little budding artist. So there you go with your salad spinner art. Enjoy everybody.